Tired of the everyday grind? Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. You are seated before the dials of your radio receiver, listening to a faint voice from the blackness beyond, while the one who speaks with words of friendship is debating the destruction of your world. Listen now as Escape brings you Michael Gray's exciting story, The Invader. Here in the Nevada desert, our forward observation post is a slit trench less than two miles from ground zero of Operation Doorstep 8A bomb test. The time exactly 30 seconds to H hour. That's the voice of our official guide, Colonel Jim Donovan. All personnel put on protective glasses and get below trench abutments. We have H hour minus 16, 15... 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it goes. There it is. You'll hear the sound of the explosion any second now. See that flash, Commander? Yes. Check the cyclo gauges for reactions. Yes, sir. No reaction, zero count. What an extraordinary race. Very primitive. The main object appears to be to kill each other off at periodic intervals. I wonder why the Council doesn't order extinction. There's hope. That's why we've been sent. But the red zero discs vanished on the same job last Delo. Why waste more lives? The things should be exterminated. Don't be unscientific. The Red Zero discs probably disobeyed orders and landed on water. Water? Yes, water. Oh, what a place. Uh, what do they call those creatures, Commander? Humans. Humans? What an odd name. I'm afraid they're a very odd race. Yes, yes, Martha. I saw the bomb mm. test on television this morning. Did you see it in school? No, dear. Oh. Where are you going now? Into the lab. Call me when dinner's ready, will you, dear? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Albert, I want to talk to you. Huh? 
I said I want to talk to you. Oh, yes, dear. Of course. I saw Mrs. Warren today. Yes, dear. Will you stop messing around and pay attention to what I'm saying? Uh, yes, yes, dear. I should merely like to remind you that Mrs. Warren is your school principal's wife. She hinted that he's not pleased with your work. He, in fact, he's not pleased at all. Albert, did you hear what I said? Yes. Yeah, yes, dear. Come uh, back here. Now, stand still and listen to me. How do you think I feel having the principal's wife laughing at you and laughing at me, too? This is the third job you've had in the past two years, and you are going to keep this one. I know it's hard for a scientific genius to settle down teaching 12th grade chemistry, but this time you're going to stick, I mean it, Albert. You're making yourself the laughing stock of the school with your crazy experiments, and it's got to stop. I'm just not going to spend the rest of my life following you around from job to job like a gypsy. Well, well, of course, dear. Well, I understand. You'd better understand. I'm not going to stand for it anymore. If you're not down for dinner in five minutes, there won't be any dinner for you. Commander? Magnetron's oscillating. Probably magnetic storms. No, it's a definite signal on our channel. Perhaps the council's calling. I'll raise and bring it in. Station MXA calling. Station MXA calling. Station MXA. Uh, over and out. That's not the council. Check the frequency. It's the emergency band. Somebody's playing a joke. Tell them to clear the ether. Stellar disk white zero now. Who's call... Moment. Ask for code check. Stellar disk white zero now. Give name. Code check. Station MXA. Uh, where are you? Give me the frequent tone. Listen, MXA. This is commander of Delta ship white zero null on space mission. Get off this channel. Make a note for the log. We'll report it back to the council. What was his identification? Sounded like MXA. 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 Check the cyclo listing. There's no such station listed, Riss. There must be. Cross-check and fix. Yes, Riss. No? Absolutely no listing. Hmm. Oh, no. It's impossible. Those blundering primates couldn't have the intelligence What's to... primates, Riss? Humans. It's incredible, but... Use the magna band. We'll keep emergency open. Fix and raise MXA immediately. Delta ship white zero null. Delta ship white zero null. Are you coming down to supper? I, I, oh, Martha. Martha, it's amazing. I've made contact. I spoke to them. Spoke, spoke to who? The Delta white zero null. I've checked the station list. There's no such call sign. It means only one thing, Martha. One thing. Space. Men in space. You know what that means, Oh, Martha? stop it! Albert, when are you going to grow up? Your dinner's getting cold. Commander Delta White Zero Null, calling station MXA. Where are you located? Uh, Commander Delta White Zero Null, this is station MXA. MXA. I'm located at La Mirada, California. What planet? Uh... Uh, planet Earth. That's continent of North America. Uh, who are you? Repeat who you are. Uh, over. Are you humans? Yes, yes. You... You aren't... Uh... No, of course not. We're of Epsilon from the race of planetoid Delta. Uh, Delta? On mission of exploration for the Council. Uh, Council? The Council of Quantum Major of the Nebulae Ursula... We're arriving in your atmosphere in two delos more to examine your planet. We cannot continue this unauthorized contact without permission from the Council. If granted, 
we will raise contact again at your earliest light time tomorrow. Oh, did you hear that, Martha? Did you hear? Are you or are you not coming down to dinner? Oh, I've done it. Out there in space is another intelligence, another race. And I've done, I've made contact. For the last time, are you coming down Martha, for dinner? Martha, listen, I've made one of the most important discoveries of the century. The first contact with another world, another people or something. Think what it'll mean for civilization. Think what they'll bring, maybe a whole new way of life. It's just I... another one of those radio amateur friends of yours playing a oh, joke. No, Martha, that's impossible. The frequency's completely outside the UHF band. No, 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 no station could even reach the range, much less... Uh, transmit speech. Oh, yes, tomorrow I can ask questions now. I can find All out more All right, about now, I've stood enough. I've uh, watched you wreck job after job with your silly crackpot ideas. I've been hoping that you'd come to your oh, senses. Oh, but you heard, Martha. I've it put isn't up with this pile of junk long enough. If you don't come to your senses once and for all, I'm through with you. Oh, but Martha... I'll another... give you five minutes more to wash and get downstairs or I'm through Albertana. I mean it. <laughs> Wake up, Albert, and step. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, I'm kind of seven. seven. Oh, yes, of course. I... Hurry up and get showered. You'll be late. Uh, of course. Oh, I mustn't be late. Uh, oh, my. Let me see now. Early light time. Early light time. Oh, I hope I'm not late. Where are you going? Uh, he said he'd make contact early and uh, late. Light time. Uh, don't worry about breakfast, dear. Just fix some coffee. And dress now. Now, do you hear me? You know what the principal said the last time you were late. Uh, Martha, I'm not going to school. Yep. Oh, I can't. What? Don't you understand, dear? Today I'm going to contact Delta White. No. In fact, I'm going to contact him right now. You mean to tell me that you're risking your job for that, that crazy... Oh, Martha, it's not crazy. Nobody on this earth could have transmitted on that frequency. There's only one explanation. All right. I can see that there's only one solution to this. And you've asked for it. Uh, Martha Dole. Mar Martha, stop. What are you going to do? Martha! Get away from that door. Martha, By the please. time I finish with this place, get out of my way. All you'll need is a broom. Martha, stop. Stop it, I say, Martha. Oh, 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 oh. No, then. You listen to me for a change. For 14 years, I've been teaching sniveling little monsters to blow themselves up for less money than a garbage collector. And for 10 years, I've listened to you nag me out of any sort of manhood. But if you lay one finger on that equipment or come in this room again without my express permission, I'll kill you. We will return to escape in just a moment. But first, in your town, in the next town, across the nation, you'll find the Red Cross. But the Red Cross is above and beyond all boundary lines, for it is infinite in its scope. In time of hardships, epidemics, floods, fires, the Red Cross is the symbol and soul of humanity. You are part of that symbol because it is the money that you contribute that enables the Red Cross to continue its great work. Answer the call, and humanity will answer you with gratitude. And now, back to Escape. XA calling Delta White zero null. Station MXA calling Delta White zero null. 
This is Delta White Zero Null to Station MXA. Can you read us? You're coming in loud and clear. Council authorizes to continue contact. What is your name and function? My name's Tanner. Uh, Albert Tanner. I'm a chemistry teacher at La Mirada High School. A scientist? Uh, yes. Well, kind of, in a way. We, too, have servants of learning. Did you construct this magnetron channel? <laughs> yes, but I'm afraid it's a bit elementary. I had to use war surplus stuff, and that's never very satisfactory. Oh, is there war in your territory at this moment? Oh, no, no, Commander. Oh, everything's quite peaceful here. Good. We're looking for a suitable land space and don't want to arrive in the middle of your hostilities. Well, you'd be very welcome, Commander. We've plenty of space and open fields all around us here. It'd be a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Tanner. <laughs> You're welcome, Commander. Might I ask, what is the position of your planet? Planetoid Delta is five light years behind the summer solstice. I'm afraid I don't understand that. Uh... In elementary mathematical formulae, its gamma is to the power of epsilon to the seventh vector. Oh, of course. Yes. Yes, of course. Now, how is it we haven't observed your planetoid before? I couldn't find you on any of our star atlases. We're exactly opposite your sun. This would make observation by ordinary optical instruments impossible. But with our magnetic electroscopes, we're able to filter out the sol rays and observe you perfectly. Oh, I see. Oh, I see, Commander. Uh, when do you expect to arrive? By your time, late in your so-called afternoon. We shall determine that by later contact. And, Commander, might I ask a personal question? Of course. What do you, uh... Oh, well... What do you look like? Like all members of the race Delta, of the Nebulae Ursula, of course. Is there any other way to look? Department, uh, Sergeant Williams. Uh, this, this is Mrs. Tanner, 35 Crescent Heights. My husband just made contact with a uh, Delta Zero something in, in space, and they're going to land this afternoon. Oh, uh, would you uh, say that a little slower, please? I said that the men from space are going to land this afternoon. I heard my husband talking to them. You've got to send some policemen out here because I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, ma'am. Now, now, take it easy. <laughs> How did you say your husband got this information? <laughs> Through the radio. Uh, I oh, mean, sure. got through his radio. Sure, sure, I, I understand. These spacemen uh, radioed your husband. But I keep telling you, I heard them. The door was open. I, I, I could hear them very distinctly. Oh, please, 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 you've got to send help. Yeah, this, please. this sounds like a matter for the Army, Mrs. Tanner. Uh, uh, why don't you call them? Oh, but I don't see why I can't call. Oh, 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 all right, I, I, I'll call them, I'll call them. Oh, what's their number? Oh, please, please, yeah, hurry, well, tell me. One moment. Oh, please, hurry, hurry. Are you still there? Please. It's I... Mirada 4637. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I, I'll call them right away. Yeah, you do that, Mrs. Tanner. Yes, yes, uh, they'll take thank care you, of thank you. Uh, and, uh, four, six, three. Oh, no, 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 no. And... I, four, six, three, seven, oh, please, please, I, please, I, oh. U.S. Army, Camp Reynolds. Can I speak to somebody in charge, please, please? It, it's urgent, it's very What's urgent. it about, please? We're being invaded by Delta White. I, I, I mean, it's spaceships that are coming. Hold the line, please. I'll give you the duty, officer. Oh, are you still there? Officer of the day, Lieutenant Jacobs. My name is Mrs. Tanner, Mrs. Albert Tanner, 35 Crescent Heights. Now, please, please, you've got to send soldiers out here right away. My husband is talking to them. Oh, that's interesting, Commander. 
How long have you been in space? By your time, five months. But remember, our speed is twice the speed of light. Uh Uh-huh. Do you use atomic energy? Discarded in our bleak age. We use the natural magnetic forces that surround the universe. What about friction heat caused by your velocity through the atmosphere? Our speed is adjustable by control of the magnetic fields we ride in. In any case, the disc hull is of traxendium. It's pressured to withstand anything. Anything, that is, but water. But water. But everything in nature has water. Even the human body is 80% water. What? You have water in your body? Yes. It's in different forms, uh, say, such as blood or sweat, but it's still water. Thank you for warning us. What's wrong with water? To humans, apparently, nothing. But to our life form, water is a deadly corrosive. But our atmosphere contains water. We know, and have sufficient exterior protection for the moisture of your atmosphere. Did you say your habitation was inland? Yes. Yes, you're perfectly safe, sir. We're over a hundred miles from the nearest ocean or river. Now, if you will follow my carrier signal down to the landing, you'll be all right. Thank you, Tanner. I'll report your assistance to the council. Do you think your authorities will object to our visit? I'm sure they won't, sir. (laughs) They'll be honored. We'll all be honored. I'm either mad. I'm either mad or is this a joke? Are you or are you not going to help? This is Tanner. The CEO's away for the weekend, and I've got uh, uh, an appointment. Can't it wait till Monday? Look, either you send help right away, or I'll send a report of your conduct to my congressman with a copy to your commanding general. Yes, Mrs. Tanner. I'll be over. Do you really trust that human, Commander? Well, there isn't much option. We've orders to carry out. It's an incredible race, but Tenor seems harmless enough. The meeting pressure is... Probably entering the outer atmosphere. Better start degaussing and settle on his carrier. Mm. 2700. Zero, two. No change. Switch on the water oscillograph. Oscillograph on. Variation? None. Good. We'd better check again with Tanner until we see ground. Right away, Riz. Delta to MXA. Delta to MXA. Over. MXA to Delta. You're in, loud and strong. We're entering your atmosphere. I'll check your approach on radar and keep tracking you. We're going off ether. Leave your channel open. Yeah, Martha, I thought I told you to... This is Lieutenant Jacobs from Camp Reynolds, Albert. I heard you talking to the Delta man, and I was so scared... Your wife was worried, so she wanted me to come over. Oh, I see. I suppose she told you a story about men from space? Well, uh, yes, sir. Oh, all right. You probably think I'm crazy, but you'll see. They're coming in right now, using my channel as a ground approach. You've been through signal school? I'm from 27th Signal Corps, sir. I see. Then you'll recognize the equipment. Tanner. We're approaching water in. Tanner, cross check our position. We have a danger reading. You're heading straight for us, Commander. You're safe. Why, you're perfectly safe. Check it again. There's a great deal of water. Did you check it again? Yes, I did. There's a great deal of water in. Tanner. A great big body of water. There's water down there. Tanner, our signals are at danger. Strong danger. Cross check your fix. Counter reverse the magnet. It's water. It's water. Masses and masses of water. Tanner! We've hit water! It's an ocean! Help! Help! We're burning! Ah! Delta? Delta! What's happened? Cross check their position, sir. The signal's getting weaker, but your fix is right. It's within a hundred yards of this set. Let's get outside. Maybe it crashed into the fields. Where is it? There's nothing out there. But there must be. Maybe it crashed into the trees or... Come on, come on. Albert! Albert! Look! 
Look! I'll read it, sir, but I don't Go think Go on. It... Go on. On Saturday, July 14th at 1400 hours, a telephone call was received from Mrs. Albert Tanner, etc., etc., and so forth. And on, um, on going out to the back lot, we could see no sign of the space disk. Our attention was then drawn by Mrs. Tanner to the fish pond from which steam could be seen rising. On inspecting the pond, a small circular object approximately eight inches in diameter could be seen floating on the surface. On attempting to retrieve the object, it disintegrated as if attacked by a powerful corrosive. End of report. Well, you forgot about the men inside. You've got to say something about their size. We never saw them, Mr. Tanner. Well, what do you do? Don't do that! Well, you tell me Mr. Tanner, Tanner, Mr. Tanner, I'm doing this for both of us. If I sent in the report, nobody would believe it. It's better this way. No! It's the truth! You saw it happen? Why, why, you know it happened. The only thing I know is there's no proof. As far as I'm concerned, it didn't happen. I never saw anything. I never heard anything. That's going to be my report, Mr. Tanner. No occurrence. Incident closed. Good afternoon, Mr. Tanner. Under the direction of Anthony Ellis, Escape has brought you The Invader by Michael Gray, starring Howard McNear. Faye Baker was heard as Martha, with Edgar Barrier as the commander. Featured in the cast were Paul Fries, Peter Leeds, Bill Bissell, and Leroy Leonard. The special music for Escape is composed and conducted by Leith Stevens. Next week... You are alone on the deck of a stinking convict ship, becalmed in a yellow fog, while somewhere in the dark below you, free from the cells that held them, is a deadly band of murderers seeking out your life. So listen next week when Escape brings you Weston Martyr's exciting story, A Sleeping Draft. Tomorrow night, Lux Radio Theater brings back The Miracle of Our Lady of Fatima for another thrilling performance. 11-year-old Susan Whitney recreates her original screen role as the child who first saw the prophetic vision, co-starring with J. Carol Nash. Also, tomorrow night and most of these same CBS radio stations, don't miss Joseph Cotton in Suspense's eerie production of the musical drama Tom Dooley. This is Roy Rowan speaking. And remember, daytime is a gay time with Arthur Godfrey time on the CBS radio network.